Welcome to the spoken tutorial on Arduino components and IDE. In this tutorial, we will learn about how to set up a physical connection between Arduino and a computer, Arduino hardware and Arduino programming language. Here I am using Arduino Uno board, Ubuntu Linux 14.04 operating system and Arduino IDE. To follow this tutorial, you should have basic knowledge of electronics, Arduino Uno board, USB power cable and a computer. First, we have to connect the Arduino board to the computer using the USB cable as shown here. The green power LED turns on. This indicates that the connection is working. Now, let us see the various components that are available in the Arduino hardware. The most important component is Atmega 328 microcontroller chip. This is the heart of Arduino, where you can program it to do different things. This microcontroller contains internal ROM, RAM and also an Arduino bootloader. What is an Arduino bootloader? It is the first program which executes when the device is connected to a power supply. These are digital pins. Each of these can be programmed as either an input or output. Digital means they can be on or off, high or low. For example, to dim an LED, to generate audio signals, etc. The pin number 0 and 1 can be used for serial communication with other devices. Here, 0RX stands for receiving. 1TX stands for transmitting. These are analog pins which are marked from A0 to A5. These are only used for inputs. They take analog signals and converts them into digital signals that the computer can understand. These are transmit and receive LEDs that are embedded on the board. These will blink when we are sending or receiving data. This is very helpful for troubleshooting. When you press this reset button, the program stops and restarts. It will not erase anything of the board. This is input voltage to the Arduino board when it is using an external power source. These are ground pins which give access to the lowest voltage on the board. USB interface can be used for programming the board and also can be used for serial communication between the board and the computer. We have this external power adapter to power up the board. Next, we will see about Arduino programming language. Arduino programs can be divided into three main parts. Control structure statements, operators, variables and constants, and functions. The control statements are if, if else, for, while, do while, switch case, etc. These are the same as in any programming language. Then we have arithmetic operators, comparison operators and boolean operators. We have variables and constants as in other programming languages. These are built-in functions such as pin mode, digital write, digital read, delay, analog read, analog write, etc. These are the important functions which are mostly used in the Arduino projects. I'll show you how to refer this programming language of Arduino IDE. Let us open the Arduino IDE. 
click on the help menu in the Arduino IDE. Then click on reference. This opens an offline page in your browser. For example, if you want to refer the digital write built-in function, just click on the function name. Here you can see the description, syntax and the sample program of digital write function. There are many built-in functions and we can refer to this manual depending upon our requirement. We will be learning about some of the important built-in functions in the subsequent tutorials. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned about how to set up a physical connection between the Arduino and computer, Arduino hardware and Arduino programming language. As an assignment, open the Arduino IDE. Click on the help menu and select reference. Go through the built-in functions such as delay, pin mode and digital read etc. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to us. Do you have questions in this spoken tutorial? Please visit this site. Choose the minute and second where you have the question. Explain your question briefly. Someone from our team will answer them. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. Thank you for watching.